Hey everyone, I wanted to make a quick video on how to get your coding environment set up so you can make some contributions to Cobblemon through the GitLab. The first step would be going to gitlab.com, going to the Cobblemon repo, clicking the clone button, and then you would clone with HTTPS. The next thing you're going to do is download Git. And I prefer the GUI client, but you can also do the command line version as well. And so you'll choose your operating system, get that installed, and we'll go to the next step. Once you have Git downloaded and installed, and you've cloned the HTTPS for the repo, you're going to want to go to a directory you want to copy the Git to. So you'll right-click, choose the GUI, or however you want, clone an existing repo, paste in the Cobblemon Git, choose your directory, and it is suggested to make sure there's no spaces in any of these. I will call this dev, hit clone, and wait a bit. Now that you have the git repo downloaded, you can close out the GUI, and you'll notice that all of it's in here, and you have your Gradle files. The next thing you want to do is download IntelliJ IDEA, go to the downloads page here, and you're going to want to go to other versions in the, over to the right side find the community edition and download the Windows version or whatever version that you have for your operating system. And then go through the installation process for that. During the installation process, also make sure you've selected Gradle and Java just to be safe, as well as KT and KTS. Once you're done downloading IntelliJ IDEA, double click the build Gradle file and you'll be met with this. You'll see your project files in the left and it'll start downloading some dependencies down here and make sure you wait until all these are done. Once the bar at the bottom is done loading, you can then go to the top right, choose either Fabric or Forge, to then test with. And once you change some files around in here, you can either enter debug mode or play mode, and it'll create an instance of Minecraft, and you can go and test those changes. After this is done, your coding environment is fully set up, and you can begin going and tackling issues on the issues page of Cobblemont. To find the issues, you can go to the GitLab, going down here, clicking after the contribu contribution section, clearing filters, and you will find a list of all open issues that can then be tackled. I hope this was helpful. Please reach out if you need any help, and I'll be happy to try to help. Thanks.